What's up everyone, it's Dre Trades and we're gonna do a little different video today. Today, I am gonna show you all the trades I have on in my trading portfolio. But first, we are gonna just look at the market real quick and you know, do what we do and then I'll get right into the portfolio and just kind of show you the positions, show you the different trades and kind of look at the charts real quick and I'm gonna try to do it in 10 minutes or less. So bear with me, here we go. So Dow, you know, I'm doing this video it's 12.23 Wednesday, uh, Christmas Eve Eve. <laughs> it's 3.42. The market's got another 15 minutes or so to be open. So the Dow was up 200 points, S&P up 15, NASDAQ up 7. This is what I really want to focus on, the VIX, okay? Uh, as soon as I open up my Thinkorswim, we're going to look at that real quick. Some interesting things that I see developing with the VIX. So let's look at the uh, the actual chart of the day, right? So to see the Dow nice action today right we gapped up stayed up for the most part at least on the dow well the nasdaq kind of gave it up I, I like the action today let's put it that way uh looks like we have a chance a chance maybe depending on the end of the day if we can close at the high that would be nice but uh for the most part we are higher and i like it nasdaq a little weak though so if we zoom in on the uh uh, what was it? The heat map. <laughs> we got Google and Facebook finally up. Gosh, wow. And then Microsoft, Apple's down. These guys have not been all up or all down for some time now. And Amazon down. You know, I just did the video on Amazon and I do like it going into uh, going into earnings for the most part. I do feel it's going to break out of that sideways trend. Tesla finally, finally is up. It kind of gave us a sign yesterday that it was going to maybe be up today. It was kind of going higher into the... Uh, into the close so um yeah nice day man it's kind of weird watching tesla on the heat map all right so let's go ahead and get to let's go ahead and get to it here's the vix all right i'm i got the four hour vix on and you can see how we was always trending down for the most part until we got here and i had did a video where i said hey man we going high this thing's gonna break 20 if it breaks 20 markets going up and let's focus in right here. Remember, we, everybody got scared last week and whenever this was. The, the VIX really popped, man. It, it kind of came off that floor 20, popped up here to 28. And look how fast it re it's rejecting that move, filling the gap and even heading lower. So um, we're going to break that 20. Uh, the, it just doesn't look like it wants to go up here. If it, it, when, when, when the market gets nervous, buyers start to step in and... Pff, it's going to bring it down. I think we eventually are going to break that 20. And of course, like I said, if the VIX is going down, we break 20, market's going to be higher. All right, so let's go to the monitor tab. So here's all my positions. I actually been <laughs> stacking on a position. I'm just finding a lot of different bullish things. I'm doing it for different reasons, kind of keeping them small as well. So I got the SPX trade. I got a Neo trade, a Shake Shack trade, Amazon trade, a Boeing trade, a DraftKings trade. A Google trade, a rocket trade, a snow trade, Walmart, and Facebook. All right, so um, let's look at the SPX, and I had a position close out to here. All right, so some guys, you might not understand this, all right? Uh, but I'm going to go through it quick. Just go ahead and get in the comments and let me know what you don't understand, and I'll try to explain it in the comments. But I'm trading the SPX. Here, I got a put spread on these two positions right here, right? It's a put spread. It expires in 14 days. And then here, I got a iron condor on, all right? So we'll look at that. And then um, here, I got another put spread on that expires in 14 days. So if we look at the uh, SPX, and I just kind of told you the reason why um, with the VIX, right? The VIX drop, and I do think we go higher or is sideways, and you can see the action. Let's pull up the weekly. You know, I think we kind of go higher or sideways. And, you know, if anything, we come down to that, resistance right here right right here so um that's why i got i'm just selling the put spreads and maybe even doing and doing that iron condor so the next position is neo right so i have a 43 40 put spread and a 60 a 49 60 call spread so i'm long going up with the calls and i'm shorting i'm just say i sold short um some put spreads right credit spreads let's call it credit spreads i sold some credit spreads and let's look at NEO. NIO. Um, bull flag action, right? Going sideways. I think it's going to head higher. I did a video on it as well. It's been kind of acting funny, but I do think it 
it's going to resolve itself to the upside. So that's why I got the call spread on, the big call spread. I forgot the numbers, but uh, you know, if this thing starts to break out, I will participate. And then down here, I'm selling those put spreads. Okay, so the next position I got on is Shake Shack. And I just sold a put, right? I sold a put at 90. I sold the 90 put, the trade price was $3.95. So basically, that's going to give me the stock. Well, it gives me at 90, but for the most part, my break even will be $86.05. All right. So right now the stock is trading at 88. So it's all good. Right. So let's look at Shaq. Had a nice, well, pulled back. This thing was kind of running last week and all of a sudden it, it's pulling back. So, um, yeah, it was up as high as 92. But, you know, I sold the 90. Everything is all good. I still think this stock goes higher. Right. So I like my position. If I do get assigned it, I will start selling calls against it. All right. Next position. I'm moving right along. Amazon. Right. I just did a video on it. Um, I'm sold puts. 3150 put. 3150 to 3100 in the 3000 to 2940. Let's pull that up real quick. You know, it's been going sideways for the most part. I'm going to pull up the, the weekly. And I'm down here, right? I'm down here below all of that action selling put spreads, right? So I'm down here. And I, I anticipate it to break to the upside, right? But if it breaks to the downside, I'm in trouble. So I'm down here selling the puts. As long as this thing goes sideways, hey, I'm making the money. So it's all good with the put spread. The reason why I don't want to do an iron condor on this, and this is a perfect iron condor type stock, is because I do believe it's going to break to the upside and I believe it's going to break hard. So basically, if I have the calls, if I sold calls and sold puts, I do think the stock will blow through my call spread no matter what strike I got because if this thing starts to run, it's going to run hard. So I'll just go ahead and sell the puts in Amazon. Next position is Boeing. I just put this on today, the 200, 205. Lots of good news has been coming out in Boeing lately. Um, right? Uh, people... Companies buying planes, the airline industry is getting a little is getting better. So uh, a reopening type trade. So I'm down here selling some put spreads. I like the action. It's still in that little area right there. But look at the action for the last several weeks, right? Just straight up, right? Going a little sideways. I actually think it holds, and I actually think we could break out. So I'm down here. I'm down here selling the put spreads in Boeing. Next position, DraftKings. What do I got on there? I sold the, another put spread. So these are all credit spreads, man. When I sell this, I get money, okay? And uh, and the stock could go sideways up and even down a little bit, and I'll get paid, right? So um, DraftKings, I sold the 50 and bought the 48. Let's look at DraftKings real quick. And see, it's, it's just looking beautiful, going higher. Still got my arrows here. Looks like we're breaking out of that range. Let me zoom, uh, do a four-hour chart see the range I got highlighted maybe if I can extend it here and see we kind of breaking out so I do think it goes higher look at the moving averages look at the nine look at the 20 the nine is the uh turquoise or the blue the 20 period average is the purple and the stock is right there or even above it which is good stochastic turning up I do think this thing continues higher just grinds higher so I sold the put spread right I'm down here with the 5048 so far so good on the DraftKings. Um, Google, right? Google, I sold a put spread here, right? Put spread there. I sold, I got three put spreads on. It's put spread there and a put spread there. So the 1600, 1660, I'm short. The 1795, I'm short. And the 1600, I'm short. And if we pull up Google, let's go with the weekly. And little disappointment what was happening right there but right now we at the bottom of the range you know if i could i would probably sell even more put spreads right because i think we bounce here and actually head higher i need to like clear out should i just clear out everything here I'm trying to do it in 10 minutes or less so i think we bounce here and head higher if we don't i could be in trouble but um i'm selling the put spreads underneath here right what did i say 1600 i'm, I'm kind of down in this area so Hopefully Google can hold up um, and the DOJ can hold off. <laughs> no more DOJ type and antitrust laws. Oh, yeah, 
hold off until I can get my money back on these put spreads. <laughs> until I can close them out, I should say, buy them back. All right, so Rocket Mortgage. What do I got? Rocket. So another put spread or a credit spread. 21s and 18s, right? Sold the 21s, bought the 18s. Let's pull up Rocket. See what's going on here. Sideways action. Now, this looks as like a good iron condor because I don't really think it's just going to break out of here and start treading up. But, you know, we're in a bull market and I'm a little, I'm always afraid to kind of sell that call spread. Every time I do it on an iron condor, it seems to, you know, I, I, I fight that call side. So let's pull up the four hour chart right sideways. So what did I sold the 20 and 18? Let me see. Sold the 21 and 18. So I'm kind of close to the action. The stock's trading at 21.56. I'm right there, you know, so I'm hoping this thing can break to the upside or just continue where it's at. You know, if it does that, I'm fine, you know, so um, I'm keeping an eye on that one. Keeping an eye on that one. It, it, it needs to break out of this one. This one even reminds me of Amazon. Once this thing finally breaks out, it is going to get going. So keep an eye on the rocket mortgage. Snow. I just had to make a trade in snow. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I mean, it went up, right? Sideways, up. P little pullback sideways. So um, what did I do? I didn't even look at it. I sold a put spread. Wow, looks like I got out of one of my positions today. Okay. Anyway, so um, 31, th 30, 10, 310 short, 300 long. On the put, so 310. I'm a little close to the action on this as well. I'm right here, right? I'm right in there. So um, let's hope Snowflake could head up. <laughs> keep doing what you're doing or go up, okay? Uh, it's another one I want to keep an eye on. I sold it when it was a little higher up and it kind of took a pullback. All right, so um, how many more we got to go? Walmart. I think I just did this one today. Sold the 141.35. I like Walmart a lot because it pulled back a lot. Remember this thing reported earnings? I said sell it. <laughs> There's my little circle. I said sell it. Caught a lot of shit in the comments. Oh, Walmart's got a high. I love Walmart. I was in it. It it popped on earnings. I said sell. And, and look, look what's been happening. Walmart always seems to sell off after earnings for whatever reason. But I like it here. I, I, I like it here. Um, let's pull up the weekly, right? So, trying to draw some lines for you. There we go, right? Kind of cheap. There we go, just bouncing off that trend line. So, it should make a turn, hopefully, here, right? I, don't, I can't really see it coming way down to here. It can. It could do anything it wants to do. But I went ahead and sold a put spread on that and that is the 140 135 right now it's trading at 143 so i'm still three dollars right i'm still three dollars away 140 135 puts me right here okay so i need this thing to start bouncing so i can make some money and the last but not least facebook i sold the 257 252 oh man i really want to go all in on facebook but uh it's just it's got a lot of problems with the government and um, premium is coming out of the stock. You know, they're not bidding it up. So got to be a little cautious here, but uh, they still make bank. They still make bank and I'm not too afraid of it. But um, there it is. I'm in, the, I'm in the action somewhere right here, right? So I need this thing to continue to go up. It looks very weak. Um, as you can see, it's on a low end. It's, it doesn't... It's kind of, yeah, it just looks weak. So I'm actually concerned about Facebook, even in general. I mean, come on, what's, what's up? These guys make bank. Do they really think the government's going to break them up? I don't think so. So um, uh, maybe it's the Apple, right? Apple's going to stop the privacy thing, and you're not going to be able to pinpoint your, your ads. So I don't know. They got a lot of things going on right about now. Anyway, so there it is. There's all my positions. Um, I did it. I don't know when I did it. Hopefully it's 10 minutes or less. So I'll go ahead and end this. Let me know if you like this video. If you, hey, subscribe, subscribe, hit the thumbs up. That's how you let me know you like it without letting me know you like it. Because I look at the thumbs up and I say, wow, man, thanks. Thanks for everyone supporting Dre Trades. Share it out. Let me know if you have any questions about any stock and we could kind of go over that in the comments or maybe i can do a video on it so uh tomorrow's the last day i think tomorrow might be a shortened day christmas eve um might be a close at one o'clock or something like that i'm not too certain with that but uh if i don't make a video tomorrow 
uh, happy holidays <laughs> for everybody. I know this is worldwide. I say Merry Christmas, but worldwide, we'll go with the happy holidays. All right, everybody, enjoy. Hope you make a bunch of money with this market. Keep an eye on that VIX. It kind of tell us what to do. All right, thanks for watching. Anyway, I'm Dre, Dre Trades, and I'm out. Oh, yeah, Twitter, Instagram, Dre Trades. Catch me over there as well. Peace.